Uh, Lake Huron and Lake Michigan were both really rough for me. Um, this one, you know, the weather changed probably five different times while we were out there. You know, the, the sky would open up and the sun would be there. And then suddenly it would get very cold and we'd have to put layers on me and I had to put on a winter hat. Um, you know, this was the first overnight crossing. Um, you know, the temperature at night got really cold. Um, I was wearing two winter hats. I was wearing winter gloves. Um, we had, I, I put on a hoodie and then a, like a winter coat on top of my wetsuit. Um, this was, this was the big, this was the big one. Um, at times, you know, this was the first one that we went through the night. Um, we started at 6 a, 6 a.m. in the morning. Um, and, and then we went all day and then through the night into the sunset, into the dark, into the next day. Um, and, uh, and yeah, no, this was the, this was the one that I got probably very, I got very emotional with. Mm -hmm. So after the warm up Lake Erie, now you're going, you're talking about 28 and a half hours later when you reached Codrich. And at that point, it looked like you you could barely stand up, and you talked about being emotional. It's uh, yeah, yeah. No, the um, so we we did have a medical emergency on that crossing. Um, the Canadian Coast Guard came out to to just check that I was okay. Um, there was a situation with with um, with with you know how I was going in the bathroom. Um, so, so I was just going in and what was happening was it was going down my wetsuit and, um, and it was catching in my boots. And you know, when you're swimming, your feet prune, um, mm -hmm. my feet pruned so much that I couldn't stand on them for the last 10 hours, um, because it was so painful. Um, but, but no, I had an amazing team, um, 